Hi guys, my name is Mario Obo. You see this life that we're living in, right? It is not balanced at all. This life that we have come to live in this world, it's not balanced at all. Today I want to talk about backstabbers. I want to talk about people who know everything about us to our face. They know our secrets, they know our, our weak points, they know what hurts, they know, they know us. But when we turn our backs on them, they know the perfect place to place the knife and stab us on our backs. Backstabbers. And if you're a person who you are pursuing greatness, or if you're someone who you have a desire or a goal in your heart and you're working towards getting something, getting somewhere, at some point in your life, you're going to deal with backstabbers. Now, the painful part about backstabbers is that there's nothing that puts any signpost on their head and say, hey, I'm a backstabber, I'm a, I'm, I'm a backstabber. There's nothing like that. There are only two things that I know that can reveal a backstabber, and that is our inner conscience, our spirit, and time. So most times, our inner conscience speaks, but we don't really pay attention to it. But time exposes them. Backstabbers. Today's Sunday, right? So let's talk Bible a bit. Jesus told his disciples, he said, go to, when, when they got to the Mount of Olives, he said, go to the village. There is a donkey in that village that is tied. Nobody has ever used that donkey. Lose that donkey, bring it to me. If anybody stops you along the road and tell you, what are you doing with that donkey? Tell them that I, the Lord, your boss, your leader, your king needs it. Go. And so his disciples went there. When they got there, they found exactly as Jesus Christ said, a donkey that is tied. They released the donkey. People say, hey, what are you doing with that donkey? They say, our boss, our Lord needs it. And so they let them have the donkey. They brought the donkey to Jesus Christ. When Jesus was riding that donkey into the city, you know what people did? They put their clothes on him on the ground. Some people that went to cut palm trees, palm leaves, they put the leaves on the ground. As he was riding it, he met a cheerful crowd. They were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is the King of Kings. He is blessed. He is great. They did all kinds of things. They were cheering him up. But five days after that day, just five days after, they arrested Jesus. The pilot said, do we release Barabbas, a known murderer, a killer? Or do we release Jesus? The people shouted, release Barabbas, release the killer. He said, okay, what, he said, okay, what do I do to this man? He said, crucify him. He said, but this man has done no crime other than say that he's the king of the Jews. They said, crucify him. The same crowd of people that put their clothes on the ground for Jesus Christ were the ones who were shouting that they should crucify him for claiming to be the king of the Jews. Backstabbers. Let's talk Bible now. You know David? David and his men were in, a, in, in wherever they were hiding. And he heard that the Philistine army were killing, attacking a tribe, or, or a city called Kila. And they were attacking that tribe and they were taking all their food. They were plundering them. They were, they were doing all kinds of things to them. David asked God, should I go and save these people? God said, yes, go and save them. Go and, destroy, go and take, go and, you know, go and save them. David went there. He chased away all the Philistines, killed them. They chased them away, protected the city from them. But when David heard that Saul was coming to kill him in that place, David prayed to God and said, God, is this, this thing I'm hearing that Saul is coming to come and kill me in this place? Is it true? God said, yes, it is. He's coming. Then David said, ah, okay, these people, this community, this Kayla, this city that I saved from their enemy, will they give me up and my men up to Saul? God said, they will. Backstabbers. If you're pursuing anything in this life, if you have a goal or a dream in this life, there is something you're going to deal with. And that is backstabbers. You can never be great in this world until you encounter them. And you know the truth? Backstabbers are all around you. There are some people that their backstabber is their father or their mother. There are some people 
that they are backstabbers is their own husband or their own wives. They sleep on the bed together. They have sex together. Some of them have children together, but the person they are married to is their staunch enemy. I'm talking life. This is not motivational speaking. This is life I'm telling you now. This thing I'm saying now is existing. Are you not seeing what's happening now in the world? Look at Hush Puppy. Every single media station is talking about Hush Puppy. Every, every blogger, every news, Hush Puppy, Hush Puppy. Just because they want to get a few likes or they want to increase their social awareness. They are talking all kinds of things about Hush Puppy. Now look, I don't know Hush Puppy. I don't know who he is. But there's one thing that I know about Hush Puppy. And that is that Hush Puppy was popular, but he was not famous. He was popular, but he was not a famous person. People were, all of the bloggers who are writing about Hush Puppy today, if you really are, are, are fair, if God opens your eyes, you will see that 99.9% .9 of these bloggers wrote Hush Puppy secretly one way or the other. I am talking life. Most of these bloggers who are talking about Hush Puppy today, if you really check them, at some point in their life, they were envying Hush Puppy. They wrote to Hush Puppy. They want to have an audience with Hush Puppy. But now, that security forces have come against him. Look, I'm not supporting fraud. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying that he, I, I, I'm here to support scammers. I, I'm not supporting that. But what I'm saying is that as long as a judge has not pronounced anything and say that you are guilty of fraud, he's innocent. Listen, Nigerians are very smart people. Let me tell you one thing about, about this about, that you need to know. There are two things that are very important for a, every human being that wants to attempt social media. Number one is that the internet does not forget. Whatever you say or do on the internet, it does not forget. Number two, Nigerians are very, very smart people. You can't just say anything. Nigerians will keep it until the day that you need it the most. So all of you bloggers who have been talking crap, watch your mouth because you don't know the, the whole story. Until a judge has said guilty, you have nothing to say about Hush Puppy. That's just what, because Nigerians, they don't forget. And the internet is always there for a record backstabbers they may, may, they may have secretly be writing him bros bros and hush puppy got carried away by the praises of men hush puppy was fantasized i saw his videos showing perfumes you could just see that he was just showing more and more and the more he showed the more people were hailing him but he'd not forget the words of our ancestors that when you are poor you are despised but when you are rich you are hated you are hated when you are rich people hate you Hush Puppy did not realize that. It is now that Hush Puppy is famous. Before, he was popular. Now is the time that Hush Puppy is now famous. So my people, let me tell you something. When you meet a backstabber in your life, know one thing for a pur for the purpose of backstabbing is to move you forward. Once you hear people are stabbing you behind your back, it's time for you to step up your game. It's time for you to move up. Because as our ancestors say, no matter how evil ravages, evil is serving the purpose of good. O Senobu, our God Almighty, may those who love us, love us. May those who don't love us, God, please charge their hearts to love us. But if they don't, O Senobu, strike their feet so that by their limping, we shall know them. Because if they don't limp, we shall not know. My name is Mario Obu. God bless Africa. One love.